Hello, my friends. And, um, before we get into the video, I'd like to apologize for my, uh, my looks today, because I'd like to apologize for looking like a medieval warrior. Admire how gorgeous my hair is. Admire how sensual my beard is. Yes. Alright, and shout out to all you, you haters. And some of my close friends, by the way, y'all know who you are, who were like, oh man, you know, you shave your head, man, that looks stupid, and you know, it wasn't the awkward phase when you guys were saying shit like that, so I get it. But these are the results and the fruits of the happenings. And this isn't even the best that it looks. But anyway, alright, fuck all that vanity shit today, we are talking about New Year's resolutions. And last January, right, January 2018, I made a video talking about how um, there are a lot of people who have already failed, right, their New Year's resolutions. Shout out to Kenshiro. It's like, you're already dead? Well, you have already uh, omai wa mo shin your, uh, <laughs> your fitness goals in 2018, your New Year's resolutions, but... You can watch that video if you want to know what it was about. Basically, today, guys, I'm talking about my New Year's resolutions from then to now. And what my New Year's resolutions are going to be in the coming year. And how, how you can make New Year's resolutions that are reasonable, that are you are able to accomplish. Now, um, let's, talk about, um, let's talk about mine for this year. So, for 2018... Again, didn't know all the crazy shit that happened this year was going to happen, and some more shit has happened since I, uh, I made the last video, but, um, you know, um, long story short, uh, we'll get into that. Anyway, so, number one, I'm gonna talk about the ones that I got. I had five goals for 2018. Number one, accumulate roughly $10,000 to invest. Now, along with your, uh, physical fitness, you got to have your financial fitness. One of those things uh, that I wanted to do this year, while I don't have many responsibilities, was to create uh, a base uh, for investments. Um, basically, take $10,000 and put it into some sort of, a, of an income-generating, uh, interest-generating uh, instrument, financial instrument. So, um, didn't quite get to 10,000, but I'm almost there. Um, basically I worked for a place that went bankrupt. And so, um, there is roughly a, a balance of $3,000 that is owed to me. Not sure if I'm ever going to see it, but, um, I am fighting to get it back. Um, so the next thing here, let me get that notification out of the way. Uh, so yeah, I, I basically achieved that goal. Um, and I will, I will be there in January, right? That, that will happen. Um, that's not a, an if, and, or a but. That is, yes, that's going to happen very, very soon. Second thing is I got a car. I wanted to get a car because I didn't have one. Um, I had one before. Um, basically some shit happened. Um, uh, I was driving in uh, very, very bad road conditions. I got into an accident, wrote the car off. Nothing could be done about that. So uh, that was, uh, that certainly sucked. But again, get over the hump. Um, and again, there were some other things, I guess, maybe mentally that I had to get around uh, after that experience. But I got around them. I'm driving my uh, my car. If you were one of my close friends and you live around here with me, uh, chances are you've been in the regalia. It's a beautiful car, you guys know it. Hold on one second here, I gotta sneeze. Don't you hate when that happens? When you don't actually sneeze? Because you, you talk about it. But anyway, so yeah, those are the two goals that I completed. So the other goals that I did not complete, number one, uh, well, I guess maybe number three, uh, I did not reach 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now, the reason that that didn't happen is because, well, I clearly did not upload enough videos. Um, there was a big gap in my video production, wasn't able to, uh, amass enough subscribers because of that. Uh, you need, in, in case you're not a, a frequent YouTube uploader, one of the main things that drives subscribers is share, having videos shared and 
putting out new videos, new content for people to watch. Um, you never know what your next video is going to be that people love. So you always got to make a new one with new content. You got to diversify a little bit. And because I didn't do that for around seven or eight months, I, I didn't receive any, uh, any subscriber benefit. But I do have you guys. All right, all 69 of you. Yeah, 69. All right. It's kind of a kind of pretty cool thing that I have influence over uh, 69 people. Maybe that's maybe it's not a good thing. Who knows that I have direct influence over 69 people? But I promise I won't make you guys drink the Kool Aid. All right, bit of a change in scenery here, guys. Um, basically, the lights were really bright in there, and I was kind of getting irritated by that. Just kind of standing right underneath the light in a white room, looking at a screen that's. Uh, roughly uh, 17 inches in front of my face but um, the other one was that I wanted to uh, basically uh, go on a big game hunt all right when I say big game hunt I really just mean hunt deer and moose that's what I wrote down when I wrote the the damn resolution um, so again I'm not going to Africa to hunt endangered species for sport okay that's fucked up not doing that that's wrong I don't think you should do that either but basically, um, so it's a lofty goal. It's, it's multi-layered. So you got, you got get the gun license, uh, get your hunting license, find someone who knows how to hunt. Cause I don't, and go do the, the trip. Now that takes each one of those things takes, um, a long time. And basically I didn't get started, right? Because it was such a big goal, I was just so like, wow, that's a lot of things that I have to do there. Where do I even start? Maybe I should just do another goal. So, didn't even get the gun license. Last one, photo shoot for a professional company. That didn't happen. Um, I reached out to a few companies. Um, long story short, there were no actual professional photo shoots that I, people wanted me to do. I got a couple Instagram offers to do um, Instagram, um, like sponsorships, uh, oh. oh, sorry, I thought I had something on my face with this lighting, uh, but, uh, yeah, no, basically they wanted me to do, it was a couple supplement companies actually, and they wanted me to be like, oh, you know, get this supplement, whatever, whatever, and, you know, after the fact that I have a series of anti-supplement videos, it's probably not the greatest thing for me to join up with a supplement company, especially if I'm not getting paid, right? If I was getting paid, I might be like, you know what? I'm going to be a scumbag for a few months. Yeah, guys, buy this way, you know, um, you know, buy these, uh, dangerous mystery chemicals that may or may not work, right? <laughs> if I was getting paid, I might do something like that because, you know, but, uh, I wasn't. So you guys don't have to worry about that. And again, it, it, that's at the end of the day, that's against my, my principles. Um, so I'm not going to create an Instagram and kind of every few posts plug something I don't believe in. So that's why that didn't happen. Now, this part of the video, we're going to talk about the ones that I do want to do. And this is going to be a bit of a long video just because I've had to explain a few things. I'm going to continue to have to explain. Basically, I'm going to get the gun license. I'm not going hunting. I'm not going to get my restricted firearms. I'm not even going to get my hunting license. I'm just going to get the hunting license or the uh, the PAL, which is basic gun safety, meaning that I can uh, essentially get uh, rifles and shotguns in Canada legally. Uh, so that's that's step one. But I'm go that's going to be my New Year's resolution to get that one license. Number two, um, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm a practitioner of uh, karate, Wei Ru. Uh, Weichi style. Um, again, I'm probably going to make a couple videos on that, but I seriously recommend that if uh, you want to get into self-defense, if you're not going to do Krav Maga, this is the one to do. Um, again, it's it's very brutal self-defense. Um, and again, it'll help you get fit too. Uh, get your self-confidence level a little bit higher so that when you're in public, you can deal with things. Um, and yeah, it's it's a great thing to know. Right, just for again self defense purposes. But basically, I want to get the green belt. I'm one rank away from getting that. Don't know what next year is going to bring. I might be able, might be able to get the brown stripe, which is the rank after green belt. 
Um, I don't know how my, um, my career is going to allow me to do that, um, but I will be able to get the green belt at least. Um, that would be taking me, so just so that you guys know, it, uh, white belt, green belt, brown belt, black belt, that's how that works in Weichiru, and there are ranks in between, um, marked by, um, notches on your belt, uh, of the next color up. So right now I'm white belt, green patch, looking to get the green belt. So that's what I want to do, uh, in terms of karate. Next year, I, I hope to uh, achieve the green belt rank. <clears throat> I probably will be able to get a little bit higher than that, but but that's where I want to go. It's very, it's the first step. Um, next thing I'm going to do, get the TEFL, Teaching English as a Foreign Language. Guys, I have the opportunity to go to Korea, teach English. Um, <clears throat> this is the perfect time in my life to do that. Um... You need a degree, you need the TEFL certification, and you need to come from a English-speaking country, and you need to have been educated um, in, I think, elementary, junior high, and high school in English. And that being said, I have, I have all those qualifications except for just the one certification, which is like a $1,000 course, which is not any, I mean, it's not hard to take. So I'm going to get that. I have the opportunity. This is a life experience thing, by the way. This isn't a, a get rich thing. This isn't, uh, and again, people are probably like, oh, Scott, I thought you were a fitness guy. It's like, I am. But, you know, I've always wanted to kind of experience um, an East Asian country like South Korea or Japan. And this is the perfect time to do that for me. And again, don't have many responsibilities here. Don't have a mortgage. Don't have pets. Don't have a significant other. You know, if I stick around here for another year or two, God only knows what might happen. I mean, if I'm not going to go down that route, I'm going to want to find, you know, I'm going to want to continue going forward in life, and those things will most likely come. Uh, responsibilities will show up uh, in a way that uh, they haven't yet. And when I go to Korea, then I will be moving forward just in a different direction. And there's nothing to say that I can't continue doing personal training while I'm there. Most of my stuff is online coaching. So any of you guys who want to be trained by me, you want to get some macro coaching on the go, you have the ability to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and the other thing too, is that when, once I get home, that's when I can start the rest of my sales career, um, put my sales career on pause right now, uh, just so that I can have this experience. But the first step again, is just the TEFL. So green belt, TEFL, PAL license, right? None of this is crazy shit. Maybe get to 500 subscribers on YouTube. I'd love that. So four things, right? Not hard. All of those things, very easily achievable over a year. But the thing is, like, if you have uh, really lofty goals like I had last year, you know, some people say shoot for the moon, and if you, if you miss, you will land among the stars. I've heard that before. And it works for some people. But the thing is, too, if you have, if you have a ton of really big goals, it's like, where do I even begin here? So you got to project manage your life a little bit and be like, okay, maybe end game. That's what I want, you know, but for right now, this is what I want to do. So, um, and again, I think all my goals are related to my own self-improvement. You know, <clears throat> I want to move and experience another culture. Um, I think that the uh, East Asian culture is very, uh, very, um, uh, maybe the word conservative isn't the right one to use, but because it's a little bit dirty here in the West to use the word conservative, but um, very traditional, perhaps traditional sort of culture that is also blended with modernity. Again, South Korea, very, uh, very forward going, very big city sort of attitude, maybe. Um, again, I might be totally wrong about that, but again, it's an experience, even if it's negative. Right? So I'll, I'll have things to talk about to my grandchildren. Um, so, yeah.
part of it. Self-improvement. Self-defense, self-improvement, right? Green belt, that's a rank up. That means that I've gained skill uh, in my ability to um, perform martial arts, to fight. Um, and the other thing is the gun license, right? Shit hits the fan. What are you going to do? You don't know how to fire a gun? You don't know how to, you know, aim, load a gun? You know, it's, uh, it's not a good thing to not know how to use that sort of technology. Um, and again, um, I, I have a very deep fascination with firearms. So that is essentially where that comes from. So those three things are basically where I'm going to start with. Um, this may, video has been a little bit long. I do apologize for that, guys. But um, that's it for today. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around because hopefully this will help some people. And uh, as always, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ha! Ah.